Hello and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. I love 3D printing, but getting the parts to stick to my print bed has been an absolute pain. I've ended up having to try many different glues in order to try and get things to stick to the glass print bed that I've got. Now, Easy Peelsy saw that I was having some troubles and they sent me this. It's a flexible adhesive print bed that's magnetic. So it gives you the ability to be able to put this flexible print surface on your printer, print your part, and then bend it and off pops your printed part. It's absolutely magic. I'm in love with it. Thanks ever so much, Easy Peelsy. Keep watching to see how it works and how I set it up on my printer. Hey everyone. So uh, Easy Peelsy has seen I've been struggling with uh, prints adhering to my glass build plate and they have very kindly sent me their new magnetic build bed easy peelsy xl so uh, let's just have a quick look at the label here you can see there from the label this is rated uh, anything below 80 degrees centigrade oh genuine proper double coated tissue tape 3m 9448a <laughs> um, so this is actually a little bit bigger than my build bed so what it consists of is some double-sided magnetic tape and a magnetic plasticized build bed my build bed is that size sorry i do need to clean the uh my build bed glass that's because it's covered in glue trying to get the damn things to stick so the plan is now to get some scissors and just cut along these pencil lines and just marked up around my glass here uh, and then get this fitted to the print bed and it's relatively easy to cut as well as you can see there it's actually uh quite nice cool i'll get this chopped up then you can hear that that is now squeaky clean. Now, the reason why I want to stick it down to the glass substrate is because the glass is perfectly flat, whereas uh, the aluminium print bed that I've got at the moment, I'll show you that in a few seconds, might not be perfectly flat. So here's my printer with the aluminium build bread. Build bread? <laughs> build bed. And uh, underneath it here, we've got these little adjuster wheels for levelling the build bed. This is a Creality CR20 printer. I know I'm, I'm pretty much running out of travel on these screws when I add the glass build plate. So when I add the glass build plate and the Easy PLZ, I know that I'll run out of uh, travel. So in order to accommodate for that, what I've done is adjusted the height of the homing reference marker for the Z direction. So I'm just going to bring that up ever so slightly and I'll just make sure that that's properly tied off there we go and what that'll do is it'll bring all of the build up ever so slightly so when it homes on this little micro switch here you can hear that clicking uh, it'll bring everything up ever so slightly so that'll give me um, uh, a little bit more travel on these uh, adjusting wheels here okay so let's make sure that everything is clean and um, get this stuck down Okay, so even though you might think that uh, the glass is completely clear, uh, one thing that I tend to do is just run a blade over the surface um, because blades are ultimately super, super flat. Um, and you can see just here, hopefully you can see that. There we go, you can see that there. There's clearly still a little bit of muck on here so um, I'm just going to give this another clean up with the blade uh, and then hit it with some uh, hit it with some fairy liquid or some soap get it nice and clean absolutely spotless and then we'll get the easy peels stuck on it and don't be stupid like me and try to slit your wrists razor blades are dangerous let's do it let's uh, get this easy peels fitted so there's our glass plate make sure there's uh, 
nothing on it all clean and flat all right excellent so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this in one corner of the glass and then I'm going to peel it away in order to try and remove the possibility of bubbles forming. So I'm just going to pull this backing slowly off and give it a little rub from one end. I'll continue to do that as we move along. Boom, she's on, the easy peelsy is on the glass. There it is, lovely. Right, let's uh, dragon clip or crocodile clip or whatever these clips are. Let's go ahead and clip this down and uh, align the height of the print bed. So normally in your printer's menu system is an option to do some bed leveling. So bed leveling isn't too hard to do. What you've got to do is get a little piece of paper, slide it underneath the print nozzle, see what the gap's like, and then adjust the wheel here in order to make sure that that print nozzle sticks, squishes just a little filament on the print bed there. And again, what you can do is with a very fine piece of paper, you can just get a feel for that. A bit like a feeler gauge when you're checking your spark plug gap, perhaps on your car, if you've ever done that. <laughs> so there's quite a distance between the heating element and the top of the bed. Um, so currently uh, I have my bed set to 50 degrees. What I'm just going to do is actually adjust that ever so slightly. So we'll just go ahead and tune that and we'll pop that up to about, uh, whoops, a bit too far there. Let's pop that up to 60 degrees. So that, I hope, means that the heat coming from the aluminium bed just here goes through the glass and continues its way into the easy peelsy bed. So we're just trying to compensate for the heat loss by increasing that temperature ever so slightly. Right, with all of this sticking going on, perhaps it's time to stick a sticker on here. Okay, so the printer's just rehoming itself. And then let's keep an eye, let's keep a very close eye on this uh, first print. We might need to adjust some of the wheels as we go. So we're printing in clear and actually I'm looking at that and it looks like it's going down okay on this end so it'll print um, around the outside first I'm just having a quick feel that actually feels really solid on there it's actually quite impressive <laughs> fantastic yeah that's going nowhere that's locked down this looks like a great solution. Right, let's see how it does. Let's give it some time. So first things first, normally here, when I pull on this, it pops off in a heartbeat. Look at that. It's actually stretching to come off. It's properly on there. Guys, this is looking really, really impressive. Oh, look at that. So far, absolutely no problems with this print. So uh, let's see what it looks like and uh, how easy it is to get off of the bed. And there it is in all of its glory. <laughs> Fantastic, right, now let's see 
how easy it is to get off. Uh, first things first, let's just, yeah, that's quite well stuck down there. I guess the point that I'm trying to make here is that it really is quite well stuck down without glue. Okay, so the idea of this bad boy, you should be able to take these little clips off. At which point, you should then be able to remove this plate. And you can see it's all really quite flexible. And just a little bit of bending, a bit of gentle persuasion. And look at that. It just peels, <laughs> as the name says, it easily peels off. It's left no mess. That just clips or magnetically clips straight back in place. Come on. And we're good to go again. Fantastic. Right, let's print some more stuff. Give us a good old thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Take care, people. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.